whether uh, binomial distribution follows normal distribution or not actually uh, in class professor mango uh, showed this video to us and i was very eager to test verify it with the programming skill whether it's true or not so uh, i would like to show you uh, what professor showed to us uh, this video yeah as you can see here that uh, there are a lot of small balls and it goes down uh, through the different holes and uh, it takes the shape of normal distribution so I have uh, written some uh, script R script to verify uh, the normal distribution pattern of binomial distribution so uh, basically we need our program here to verify and uh, I have posted the link down below uh, from where you can download program R and w from where you can also get the code for uh, this experiment let me begin so first of all we have to open R and this is the R panel and uh, you have to go to the file new and R script and you'll get a R script screen I have already copied the script so I, I'm gonna paste here so these are the script let me explain something about this script the top is the, about trials how many trials a ball gonna pass through so I have taken 12 and the probability of going right or left I have defined these two so probability of going to the right is 0.5 that means there is the 50% probability that a ball goes to right and the rest of the probability that is 50% is on the left so there is a 50-50% chance of going right or left the ball so uh, I said the ball hundred uh, sorry thousand number of balls and uh, here we go uh, this whole part is uh, this whole part is about uh, the trial so basically I'm begin going to begin the trial and for I to number of balls means it this script will run from one to a thousand times that means it will trial thousand balls so uh, uh, I have created here um, number of success object uh, where I will store uh, whether uh, how many success it will get for for the further analysis so I have created this object and uh, here this part is the trial so it will repeat the trial from 1 to 12 here 1 to 12 so it will repeat the ball trial from 1 to 12 and here this is the random random sample that means it can either take for uh, 1 or 0 so if I get 1 that means it goes to right and if I get 0 that goes to left and both the probability I sit here is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so there is a equal probability that both the uh, <clears throat> equal probability that we get 0 and 1 so uh, if I get 1 I will add one number to the success so if I get um, uh, 12 trial uh, 12 success then the number of success will be 12 if I get 10, the number of success value will be 10. Similar way, uh, it gets the value. So here, uh, after after finishing the trial, I'm going to store it into the success series where I store all the success numbers. Uh, so basically, it creates a success series object or uh, data data frame. So in which I store all the trial results from one ball to thousand balls. So 
after finishing all these things I will end up with uh, table distribution table which uh, will be so here after running the whole script and here I plot these <clears throat> data to the histogram and I have uh, I also have shown the distribution table here so uh, the last line is to remove unnecessary object that I have created through the program so let me run the program so to run the program we have to select all I have select all so click run here we go so here I got the picture or the plot of the data so we have like normal distribution kind of uh, distribution which follows the <clears throat> which is created by the binomial distribution so it follows a normal distribution you can also see here in the table that uh, the main concentration of data is in between uh, around 6 so in this way it follows uh, normal distribution and uh, let me try something else uh, let's suppose the uh, probability of right is 100% that mean 1 so what will happen let me check I select all and run that should give the hundred success uh, sorry thousand success okay so I run here so see the number of success is <clears throat> total success is 12 and the frequency is thousand so there is no possibility of getting a left because I said probability to one so if I and this will follow this kind of set if I said like 0.75 here uh, by in intuition it should like be uh, more in the right side okay because I have said higher probability for right so let me run it so here a little bit shifted this is 6 and this is a little bit shifted to the left so we have few value for for zero we have only value from 4 to 12 so it a little bit shifted left so let me fix 0.25 here here i can see uh you can see like it is much considered on the left side rather than right side because going to the right I said very lower and if I said the right probability zero you can easily guess that we will find no success at all so let me check so success is zero zero success is thousand that means we will not get any ball to the right side so in this way we can verify uh, whether a binomial distribution having 50-50% probability will follow the normal distribution or not. So let me finally run the main code here. Uh, let me increase the number of trials, 1000. Uh, number of balls, let me increase to uh, 10,000. So it will take some time. To run the trials and get the final result I have said uh, 1000 trials and 10,000 balls that's gonna take a really long time okay let's wait what will happen let's wait to see oh oh it will it will so oh sorry I really said a very long uh, trial. Okay. So <laughs> it's taking a really long time. 
10,000 volt with all 1,000 trial. Okay, I'm gonna stop it because it's taking too much time. Let me make it uh, much simpler, uh, like say it's 100 and uh, the number of trials is 2000. It should work. Yeah, I run the script. See, it's quick enough. Uh, no. What happened? Okay, let me do it again. Yeah, now it it shows like because of uh, the previous uh, script running, there is some error. That's why there's that was previous uh, result was not correct. This result is correct. See, uh, you can see like easily. Uh, it's concentrated on mainly on the center. Uh, that's a 50 we said 100 sample so it's considered on 50 success and as you can see that's uh, a uh, out of 100 samples this is concentrated uh, center around 50 around 50 176 so this satisfies that uh, it always follows the normal distribution it's not exactly normal distribution but it always follows the normal distribution pattern so thanks for watching and bye-bye.